Well, if there's anything in there, it's either given up or it's not going to come out for me, I can tell you that. I'm gladding. I'm gladding, in fact, for Conga. This is my gladding stick. I'm, in fact, watch it. This is the 7S3, you can see here. Little harbour over there with a Russian boat in with timber. You can probably hear it being unloaded. Gladding is something that's only done here in Watchit. I've never even heard of it before. It's done by men with dogs. Behind me, working away there, Tom and Bob. And there are two dogs. The white dog's Peggy, and the other dog is called Mick. And they train them to sniff out congas. When the tide goes out here, it leaves these little rock pools behind, and the conga lay here on ledges. And some of these ledges and, and, and pools, they go right back, right back under here. So you, you need one of these sticks to fetch them out. The moment they come out, and they have a number of bolt holes, in go the dogs, and the dogs actually catch them. I've never seen them, and I'm hoping that when we go with them now, we're gonna have a good day and probably find ourselves one, too, if we're lucky. Good boy. He's turning up, trying to bite him. Good dog. There, there he's bit you, hasn't he? There's a small one in here. Where's he, mate? Right, can you feel it? Yeah. Can you feel it? Feels, yeah. feels pretty big. Yeah. Bad one. Yeah. Guess it up. Oh, mate. Good boy. Good boy. That's a mate. Get on. 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 Come on, bring it out, Mick. Good dog, hold him then. That's good boy. Hold him then. Good boy. That's a good boy. Hold it there, Tom. That was Peggy good that found that. Tell me, yeah, Peggy found it. How, how would she find it? Did she, did she smell it she under there? there? Yeah, she smelled it under there. And that's some depth of water and too. And that's in the water, yeah. How do you train them to go catching conger? They just pick it up naturally, you know, keep bringing them out. Uh, now look, that was what? What poundage would that be, Tom? Uh, well, I should say that one's about four pounds. But, yeah. And yet, you, you, Bob, you've had them up. You have one up to 18 yeah, pounds, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Do you reckon to get one every time you come out? Almost every time. It's not very often we miss finding one or two, you know. Maybe bigger than that, it could be smaller, you never tell, but it's not very often we come out without finding any. But they don't do this anywhere else, do they, gladding? The only other place I know is being up at Kill, up, um, up the other side they used of... They two years ago, round here, but it's dying out now. And have you always done it? Mm. Well, we've done it since we've been since going to school. Boys. Like, yeah. And, uh, any breed of dog, or, or do they have to oh, be no, small? It's, uh, well, they, these, these, are, these are about the best two we've ever mm -hmm. had for it, and there's only two mongrels, as you can see, there's no special breed with those. That, of course, keep bringing them out, and they pick it up. They they begin to know what to look for, you see, after a few times. It's just the same if you take them out to uh, pheasant shooting you know, or rabbiting. They begin to learn what you're looking for, and then they start you know, going on their own, and they'll mark to a conger the same as they will a rabbit. I can't get over smelling it. Yeah, for, because for there's, uh, water. There's, there's, quite, there's quite a lot of water under that stone. Yeah. See, as you know, it goes down pretty deep. But I didn't think it was as big as that at first. Oh, I don't think Bob was, did, or he wouldn't have no. put his hand in it. No, no, neither would I. Can we get you somewhere and deal with that, Bob? Uh, that's oh, that's, that's all right. Well, thank you both very so, much. We've had a great day out. I, can, I never thought we'd catch one. You know. so, I didn't so really. Salt water will clean it as quick as anything. So can I help you?